All right, here we are um, with an experimental thing, probably not something you're going to want to use in the field, but definitely useful to know if you're going to be in the experimental world. Um, so we have a DRA-DRI reversal technique. This is pretty easy. Imagine an ABAB design. Reversal, maybe withdrawal. We'll call it reversal for now, okay? Um, so put the DR, sorry, blah, 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 um, except during the baseline, um, we're going to use a DRI and a DRA procedure, or a DRA procedure. So our baseline is actually DRI, DRA. So our behavior is going to be low, and then we're going to remove it, whoop, off it goes. And we're going to start reinforcing that problem behavior, the one that we wanted to reduce. That's going to be our, in, in, uh, our B condition where we're gonna reinforce the problem behavior. Then we're gonna switch back to the A condition, which is actually DRI or DRA, to demonstrate that, uh, the, the, that we have control over that behavior through, the, uh, through access to the reinforcer that we're providing. Um, we can switch that back and forth, AB, AB, you get the idea, um, but the point is simply to establish that your DRI, DRA technique is effective. It's all you're after.